All right, as I told you before, we're going to start by showing you how to co-author in Word. And joining me today is my friend and colleague, Heather Ackman. Hello there. Heather is going to be my co-author. She's signed in on another machine and logged into my Globalmatic SharePoint here. Because like I've told you before, what I do here is there's no sleight of hand, no trickery. What you see is exactly what's happening as we're doing it. So we're going to do this live. It will be switching back and forth so you can see what's happening on my screen as well as on hers. Now we're going to start with Word. We're going to open up this document called Acceptable Internet Use Policy. And we need to open it in Word because when we're going ahead and co-authoring with Word or PowerPoint, you have to do it in the application that's on your local machine. You can't do it in the web browser. Now that's a little bit different with Excel, but that's another lesson for another time. We're going to go ahead and cover that later on. But right now we're going to deal with Word and PowerPoint because they are very similar with just a few minor differences, and we're going to show you what those are. So I'm going to go now and choose Edit here to open this document. Choose OK. It's going to prompt me for my credentials. And we will choose OK. And there's the document now. We're going to go ahead and switch over to Heather's computer. And Heather's going to do the same thing. And she'll start editing. And we'll show you exactly what's going on. Take it away, Heather. Thanks, Bill. Now I'm going to open up the exact same document that Bill has open. And I'm going to choose Edit, just like he did. And enter my username and password, just like Bill just did. And now I am in the exact same document, editing at the exact same time Bill is. So now I'm just going to start making a few changes. I'm going to change this to a U and that to a D. And now Bill is going to be, I don't know this yet, but Bill on his machine is also making some edits in the document. And now notice what just popped up on my machine. As Bill makes edits, I get these little brackets and these little tags next to it that show me where in the document Bill is editing. But notice nothing really changed about the text on the page. We'll get to that in a little bit. But above where I did a few edits, we also have brackets, but they look a little bit different. They're dashed lines instead of a solid line. And that just means dashed lines, that's an edit or change I've made. Solid line with that tag, that means that's a change that Bill made. Now also at the bottom, you might have noticed this uh, icon with the two people and then the number two. That shows me how many authors are currently editing this document, and it shows me all of their user information there. I can click on that person to see additional information or close it. So that's everything that SharePoint shows in terms of what Bill is editing. Now if I actually want to see the changes that Bill has made to the document, or vice versa, if I want Bill to see my changes, I need to save my document in order for him to see my changes, and he needs to save his document in order for me to see what he's changed. So I'm going to go ahead and press save. And now let's jump back over to Bill's machine so we can see him save, and we can see what his document looks like with my changes saved. Thanks, Heather. Now we can go ahead and I can see where Heather was making changes, I see the, her name and the solid brackets. You see my dotted brackets for where I was working. But again, I still haven't seen the changes she made. Now, she saved her document. I know that because she's standing here next to me. I told him. Exactly. But now I have to go ahead and when I save my document, save slash refresh, look what happens. It's showing me that Word has refreshed my document with changes made by other authors. So now when I choose OK, see that? Notice that it's highlighted here in green, and I see the changes that Heather made on my document. So if you have more than one person working on a document at the same time, you can see that it is very beneficial for you and for your other co-authors to save their changes frequently so that everybody knows what's going on with everybody else at the same time. Um, it's just a really good habit to get into making those saves. Now let's go ahead quickly, let's go back to Heather's machine, and she'll see the changes that I made updated on her computer. 
So now we're back on my machine and notice how the tags have changed. Now I have this little arrow icon showing to the right. And if I hover my mouse over one of those icons, it tells me that updates are available. Save your document to refresh this area. So now if I want to see what changes Bill has made since he last saved, I'm going to go ahead and save and I get the Microsoft Word notification that it has refreshed my document. Okay and it has highlighted his changes in this kind of pale green color. And that is the beauty of co-authoring in Word.